to add a cookie consent pop-up to your website, you will have to configure some settings first. First one is the consent duration. By default, the default option is forever. I have chosen one month. The other option is consent storing endpoint. This is optional. If you want to store the consents, you can view this guide, which will give you a URL. You'll have to add the URL here and then hit save. The second option is scripts. This determines how you want to manage your scripts. If you want your website to be GDPR compliant, you'll have to remove every tracking script from this custom code section in your Webflow site and then add them right here. Right now, there's only two options that we are providing, which is Google Analytics and Facebook Pixel, but every other marketing platform will be added here in the coming weeks. The second option is Google Tag Manager. If you have scripts that is not mentioned here, you can always manage them by using Google Tag Manager. If you go to Google Tag Manager and then add your ZTM ID here, there's a specific guide on how to add other marketing scripts to your Google Tag Manager. After you're done with your changes, you'll have to hit save and then we are ready to add a template to our website. The templates page, you can see there's four templates. There's a button to preview every one of them. Let's say I want to use the first one. I'll click the preview button here. I'll be able to see a demo of the pop-up. So I can click customize, which will open a second pop-up. All right, let's say I want to use this pop-up. To use any of the pop-ups, I'll need a license key. So in the license tab, I can buy a new license from here. If you already have one, you can paste it here and then hit activate license. If you click on buy a new license, it will redirect you to our customer portal. If you do not have an account already, you can click register here and then sign up. I already have an account, so I'll hit login. It will redirect me to the cookie consent page under licenses. I already have a license. For you, it should be empty. You can click on this button on the top right section. This is the payment page. You can choose any of the plans from these three. The first two plans, monthly and yearly, provides you with a seven day free trial. The lifetime plan is better if you don't want to deal with subscriptions. After you make a purchase, you'll get a license key in your email like this one. I'll copy it. You will also be able to view your license keys in your customer portal. For example, this page. If you don't see an updated license after purchase, you can always just refresh the page and it should show the latest license here. After obtaining a license, I'll go back to the license page and then paste my license key here and then click activate license. Great. My license key was activated. Now I can go back to the templates page. I will get a extra button for copying any template that I want to use. Let's say I want to use the second template. I'll click the copy button here. And then in my Webflow layers, I can paste it anywhere I want. Best place to add your template is a component which is repeated in all of your pages. So I'll choose the footer component which is repeated in all of my pages. I'll double click the footer component, select the first layer and then hit Ctrl V. It will be Command V if you're on a Mac. I can close the app. I can also customize any text that I can see here. Let's say I want to add a full stop after the title. You can also add a link to any of the text you can see here. For example, you can just highlight a section and then use the link button to add a link. There are some sections that will be hidden in the layer panel by default. For example, the preferences manager. You can see it has a display of none. If I want to edit any of the texts here, I'll have to make it visible first by clicking display block. Here I can see there's a little bit of color contradiction. So I can just adjust any of the layers by clicking on them. And then I can adjust any of the Webflow properties that I have. This color contradiction may or may not happen depending on your site's build, how you have set up your style guide and pages. All right, this looks good to me. I'll select the preferences manager layer again, which is the outmost layer here, and then set it to be hidden. Great, we are ready to publish. I'll hit publish here. If I now preview my web page in a new tab, I should get the consent pop-up that we just created. I can hit customize here and I can see the actual pop-up is working with the correct colors. Let's say I accept all of the options. Both of the pop-ups will be hidden. 
the only visible thing will be the icon on the bottom left which your users can use to reopen the pop-up and then adjust their preferences as needed. That is all. If you need help setting up the pop-up, feel free to reach out to us. You can also create a ticket inside your customer portal by going to get support and then tickets and then create a new ticket. And that is how you can add a cookie concept pop-up to your website.